Okay, in this uh, lesson, chapter 7.2, we multiply fractions with whole numbers. And again, we're going to use models, and, and models models are interesting. Um, a little hard to do on with this particular drawing software, but I think we'll, we'll tackle it. We'll make it work. Um, page 295, the investigation shows a vegetable garden going in. And he wants to, to plant carrots along three-fourths three of each row for two rows. So really the multiplication problem is three-fourths times two. So he has two rows, and he wants to use three-fourths of each row to plant carrots. And we're trying to figure out how many meters of each row will he plant with carrots. Each row is two meters long. Oh, so it's not two rows, it's two meters. So we have three-fourths of two meters. So this is a distance and we're going to use three-fourths of it. So what we end up doing is we end up using our fraction boxes just to make two boxes that are each the same. This is one and this is one. So together you have two. And uh, then you look for other fractions that how do you make two using four? So if we use if we need four pieces we'd cut our holes into half and we would put um, four blocks, four boxes. So like we do this size of a box now. And you can get four of them. And the reason we choose the number four is because there are fourths. Okay, whoops. I end up doing that all the time. We're using fourths and we have two holes. So this is one, two, and then we have our holes, let's change the color here, our halves. How many halves do we need? We need one, two, three, four to equal the same amount. And we chose um, these smaller pieces because it takes four of them to make the entire distance. And this distance happens to be two. The same distance, we used four pieces so they must be halves. So this is one half and one half equal this first hole and then another one half and another one half equal this second hole. Okay, so our total is two meters but we are taking three-fourths of it. So these are one halves um, but we're taking three of them. Okay, this is the part where it gets a little bit confusing. One, two, if we, you know, this is two, this is one, this is three out of four. So if we take three fourths of two meters, okay, we end up um, one and a half meters long. You can see that there's this distance is one meter, and then you go another half of a meter to get to there. So it equals three fourths times two is one and one half. Now I think this is complicated. This is new for me. I would have done this a different way, but I don't think that it's going to hurt our brains to kind of stretch a little bit, which is what they're asking us to do. On the next page, 296, um, Margo is helping clean up after a class party. Three boxes remaining with pizza in them. Each box had three-eighths of a pizza left. So you had three boxes of pizza and each box had three eighths. So if we were to just draw three pizzas, one, let's see if I can draw them the way this draws pizzas is a little hard for me. And we're going to make eighths. That's fourths. And then if I cut each fourth in half, I have eighths. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight slices. We do the same thing. That's a half fourths, kind of, and then cut each of those fourths in halves to get eighths. Here it cuts the pizza in half. Cut it in half again makes fourths. Cut each slice in half again makes eighths. Okay, basically that's what we're doing, and we're going to shade in um, one more time. There were three boxes of pizza, and there were three-eighths of a pizza left in each box. So three-eighths times three is kind of what we're doing. Or three times three-eighths might be a better way to write it. 
Okay. So we're going to place one eighth fraction circle pieces on each circle. Well, we're just going to color them in. There's one, two, three eighths, one, two, three eighths, and one, two, three eighths. So we can see that that's, there's three pizzas, three slices here, three slices here, and three slices here. There's three eighths in each of three boxes. And the question says, how much pizza was left in all? Well, we could tell how many slices, three and three and three equals nine slices. And it takes eight slices, so if we were to take these three and move them over here, uh, and we take two of these and move them here, we have our whole pizza and with one left over. Um, we could just say nine eighths also. And most of us know what to do with nine eighths. Nine eighths is the same as one and one eighth. You can see in the drawing here that I have one whole pizza. I used up these slices, and I used up most of these slices, but I've got one left. So one whole pizza. We could throw away one box, and then we'd have two boxes of pizza, one with a full pizza in it and one with just one slice left. Um, that way makes sense to me. This is kind of the way you do multiplication. 3 eighths times 3 is sort of like 3 eighths plus 3 eighths plus 3 eighths. Okay? This 3 represents 3 times. 3 times that we have 3 eighths. We have 3 eighths 3 times, which means addition or multiplied uh, addition, addition that happens over and over again, which really is what multiplication is. So 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 9 eighths, and that's one and one eighth. Now I like the way this looks. I feel more comfortable with this one than we did with the the other page, the one that we did on the last page. This makes more sense to me. It's easier to visualize. But they want us to use the model with the, the other model as well, and you can see it on page 297, number one. They've got five sixths times three. Now I might just go five sixths plus five sixths plus five sixths equals fifteen sixths and then figure out how to simplify that. But since we're using a model, then we gotta use a little more thought process and we gotta make sure that we understand what it looks like visually. So I've got three pieces and I'm gonna make my three holes. One, two, three. And that's the way they do it in the book, so we wanna we wanna kinda use that as a as our starting point. We want to learn the way they're learning. And then we have six pieces here. So if I cut each one of these in half, that gives me six. Cut this in half, cut this in half. I start with one, one, two, three, because that's our first one here. But really, I'm going to put in some sixths now. With uh, Maybe we'll choose a, another color, some halves. Now, it's just because it happens to make six that we use halves, a half of one. There's two halves in each one, but since we have three, we get six halves. See, this is one half. This is one half, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six. But each of them, the value of each one of these is one half. This is worth one whole, one whole, and one whole, but each one of these is one half. And together they're equal. You can see that if you had six halves, that's equal to three holes. Six halves is equal to three holes. I hope that makes sense. So we have five of them, which means one, two, three, four, five out of six. And five out of six covers this whole distance to here. So we have one, two, and a half. So it equals two and one half. Hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, let's look over here. Fifteen sixths is what we kind of did originally. And fifteen over six, six goes into fifteen two whole times. Six times two is twelve. So if we had six slices in one pizza and six slices in another pizza, that would give us two whole pizzas. 
plus 3 slices left over, which is 2 and 3 6, which is the same as 2 and 1 half. Now this isn't what we're doing today. We're using the model. Um, but this is the paper and pencil method, and we're going to be doing that too. So it makes sense to kind of take a look at it. Um, they also, uh, let's see, they, they have you do the pizzas more, or again, 2 times 5 sixths on number 2 on 297. And then they draw a couple of pizzas. All right, and then six, they're a little harder to draw. You draw a half. You can't cut it in half again because that would give you four. And you can't get six. You get eight. You know, you keep doubling. So we have to cut this in thirds. And it's a little trickier. But if you do it right, that looks pretty close. This piece is a little smaller than this piece. If, you, if you're careful, you'll get six pieces that are all the same size. Okay. And that's the idea. I think I did a little better here. Um, not a ton better, but a little better. Okay, so we have sixes, sixths, and we have two whole pizzas times five, six. And this time we just fill in one, two, three, four, five, one, two, four, five. So we have five out of six, five out of six. That's two times. Five, six plus. 5 sixths, basically, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 sixths, all right, so that's one whole pizza, if we move this slice over, so we cut this out, and we cancel that one, and we put it in over here, then we have 1, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 and 4 sixths, which is the same as 1 and 2 thirds which is our answer. Now if I just started with this 10 sixths, come down here, um, 6 goes into 10 one whole time, and that leaves 4 leftover slices, and we do exactly the same thing. So we get the same answer. Um, nice job. Basically that's how you do the whole lesson. Please use the models. I know that sometimes you just want to do it in your head, but use the models as much as you can. The more you can visualize this stuff, the easier it is later.